It is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by Drew Stutz, who is the men's basketball coach for Freed Hardeman. The Lions are national champions, NAIA men's basketball national champions for 23-24. Coach, congratulations. I know you've had uh, maybe a week to process this now. Talk about it a little bit. Talk about the championship. And again, congratulations on the win. Yeah, it's just uh, everything's everything's still processing. You know, everything's been a whirlwind these last, you know, two weeks. But uh, obviously just super excited for our program, for our university. Um, guys, you know, battled there when we were in Kansas City and found a way to win. And, you know, it's just been an unbelievable experience and something that uh, that I'm super proud of. Coach, let's talk about the championship game for just a moment then. A 10-0 run in the final minute, actually final 50 seconds, uh, I think 45 seconds when you get those first couple of free throws put on the board there. You were trailing 67-61. You win 71-67 over a very tough Langston Lions team in the championship. And really, it didn't seem like there was any panic. You all didn't even attempt any three-pointers to get back into it. It was just it was a, a frenetic pace, it seemed like, but you were able to take control. Take us through that last minute. Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing there with, with a minute or two minutes to go, you know, there was a timeout or stoppage in play and the team was over there. And, you know, keeping your composure and um, and not not hitting that panic button. You know, I think a lot of times late in the games, guys feel the need to make a big play rather than just make the right play. And, uh, you know, you're not going to get all those points back in one possession. So uh, just find a way to, to win a possession and get a bucket and get a stop and, so, you know, it, it, just normal coach talk, you know, just things where you're just trying to win the next play and uh, no, nothing special, you know, just press and uh, do things that we do from time to time. I mean, we, we spent a lot of time this season preparing for that type of moment, not knowing if you're going to need it or not, but trying to figure out late game how to make it hard to get the ball in bounds and how to trap and how to rotate, um, you know, just, just your normal things. But obviously when uh, – when, when you force the other team to make a mistake and you're able to capitalize on it, uh, it's pretty rewarding and, and super glad that our guys were ready for the moment. And, you know, again, just wasn't any, any one play that stood out. It was just a group of guys playing together on the defensive side of the ball and the offensive side of the ball and stepping up and making big plays and knocking down some free throws. Well, it, it, it was all the right things at the right time, apparently, that uh, happened for you all. You get a win over Langston in the championship game, and, and and your Fab Four matchups, Langston, who had been up or near the top three, I think, the entire season, the Grace Lancers, who had been the number one team in the country for most of the season, you, you uh, took care of them in that semifinal match. Talk about that because – you know, I, I've heard it said, and we've said it here on the on the channel a few times. In order to be the best, you have to beat the best, and and you all did. Yeah, and that you know that's what makes this even more rewarding. You know, I'm sure winning a national. This is the first time I've done this, so winning a national championship, however you do it, I'm sure is very exciting. But to know that you probably beat the best two teams in the nation on back to back nights uh, makes it even more fulfilling. So, I mean, Grace, obviously unbelievable team, national player of the year. Um, you know, the, I guess the sweet part of that for us was they were the team that put us out last year. So we played them in the, in the round of 16 last year and, um, you know, really didn't play well. That was our first trip to Kansas city since I've been head coach and, um, good opportunity for us to just kind of get our feet wet there and, and experience some of those things. But, um, you know, we played extremely well in that game. I thought they played extremely well, too. Um, I think they hit 16 out of like 34 threes. So, um, you know, even on top of them them playing well, you still just battle and you have guys on your side that step up. And then, you know, Coach Ryan and Langston, um, you know, different program than Arthur Grace, but great team, a lot of talent. Um, and he does a good job with those guys. But for us to turn around and and win those type of games on back-to-back -back nights just speaks to the culture of our team and the depth of our team and, um, you know, just the maturity, you know, because anytime you have that much, uh, I guess, emotion and effort put into a game and you beat Grace and then to turn around 24 hours later and, and run it back and find a way to win that game, um, you know, special, but definitely fulfilling beating, you know, two of the better teams in, in the nation this year. And by the way, Coach, I say that with, with respect to the Lions, too, who are among the top teams in the country as well through the season. But uh, just in, in that, I think you, you put it very well getting to and 
take care of of those two teams in in back to back nights. It's a big deal. We're here on Midwest Sports Net on the summit, visiting with Drew Stutz from Freed Hardeman, and I encourage you please continue to enjoy the videos here as we talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Talking now with someone who has recently been named the NAI Coach of the Year. Congratulations on that honor, Coach, and uh, more honors to your team, Quan Lax a first-team All-American as well. He led the team with 13.3 points per game, had 125 assists too. Talk about your team just a little bit. Yeah, um, you know, super excited for Quan. Um, Great player. He came in three years ago, red-shirted behind another All-American. And, you know, a lot of people win the kid's name that was All-American before and leading scorer of our program all-time, scored 2,300 points in his career, Cortland Martin. Quan steps into that role to replace him. And, you know, a lot of people were were nervous about losing that player. And I said, well, we, we got a freshman that's going to be pretty good uh, coming in. And, and you know, Quan is um, – he's just a guy that battles. He's just a guy that works hard, uh, is definitely a team-first player. Um, you know, but on top of Quan, we got so many guys, you know, we may get into this, but – in the six games we played in the national tournament, uh, five different players led us in scoring in six games. And we, you know, we consistently play 10 guys. And I think when you win a national championship, you kind of get a shoe in to have a first team All American. And it just happened to be Quan. But there could have been three or four other people on our team. And I, I know that, that he knows that as well. But I mean, I'm, I'm super excited for him. But, you know, we're a great team. Um, you know, I, I don't know that we probably were, were one of the most talented individual teams, but I think collectively guys buying into their role and playing those roles at, at different times in the year really led to us having team success. Um, you know, obviously Elijah Malone and then number two for Langston, those guys are definitely first team all Americans who average 20 plus points a game. That's really just not the way our team was built this year. Um, it, it was built on, more togetherness and, and teamwork than it was any one individual guy. Well, Coach, with, with that in mind, I, I want to give you – you talked about the team a little bit. I've got a visitor here. I'm in my <laughs> But uh, you talked about the team a little bit. Uh, I wanted to talk about the university as well. And I always enjoy uh, giving coaches an opportunity to not only promote the program but pr- promote the institution, the university, uh, from the Freed Hardeman website. I love this right there on the homepage – by providing a quality education that integrates Christian faith, scholarship, and service, Freed Hardeman University empowers students like you to develop your God-given talents for His glory. Talk a little bit about being the coach there at Freed Hardeman. Yeah, it's a special place. Um, you know, we're in West Tennessee, a little town called Henderson, and uh, it, it's a uh, it's different than anywhere else. You know, because you got this small town, but you got this special university. We've got you know, roughly 2,000 kids that are here on campus. All the student body live on campus. Um, but just like you just mentioned, as far as an opportunity for uh, a student or a student athlete to come here and, um, you know, just have an opportunity to live out that college dream, but doing it with uh, Christian professors and in a Christian atmosphere, um, you know, it, it's a special place where you can get a great education, be around good people and develop um, all aspects of who you are, spiritual, mental, physical. Um, you know, there's just not not enough good things that I could say about uh, the experience that I've had here for the last five years. And I know our players have had um, very tight knit place, a lot of family type feel here. And, uh, you know, I would invite anybody that's looking for a Christian education to to definitely check out our university because it, it's a unique place and a place that's special to a lot of people. Well, I know it's been a busy week for you, and you were talking about still processing all that's gone on. You don't get uh, too much time to, to rest, though. I mean, recruiting time, and, and uh, I'm sure you've had already had recruits on campus. You've had a busy week. I, I, it probably is a little bit easier to recruit when you have national championship on the resume, at least uh, and very recently, as you all have. Talk a little bit about your week and, and what's going on now. Yeah, we've had a, we've had a couple guys here since the national championship uh, run, and you know, really, we're not going to change anything that we've done. I, I think sometimes uh, when you have that type of success, you can it, it can kind of alter your path. But we've we've kind of had a phrase that we've used, and it's committed to the culture and. 
that committed to the culture is really about who you bring into your program and, and looking for a certain type of player, certain type of person, uh, not just talent, but guys that are about the right stuff. And, um, you know, as we're recruiting, we're, we're not just looking for guys that can play, but guys that are, are the right team fit for us and our university. And, uh, you know, we're, we're not going to change the formula that got us to where we just got to. But uh, at the same time, we, we hope that national championship maybe uh, solidifies some of the some of the success, solidifies some of what we stand for, I guess would be an easy way of putting it. And, um, you know, all those things I've talked about as far as being a great team and being in a Christian environment, those are, those are things that are important to our university. All right, Coach. Well, I have to ask you really quickly as, as we wind up today, uh, of course, uh, where I am, it's about to get dark. Uh, in about three hours or so. So yeah. I have to ask you, is the path of the eclipse going through Henderson? And if so, how are you How are you going to, to watch this eclipse? Yeah, I, I looked at our uh, email this morning and, and uh, the university had sent out the exact time, one o'clock or so. I think they've got glasses and you can go stand in a certain spot and see the eclipse. So I think this afternoon, sometime after lunch, uh, I've got an eight-year-old and a 10-year-old that are at school today and they're going to go out and they're you know, excited about seeing that. So I, I can't remember how often this happens, but I know it's pretty rare. So I'm going to, I'll hit pause and go outside for a little while and check out the eclipse. <laughs> All right. My, my youngest are, are juniors and they're home from school today. They let them out. So we're going to, cool. we're going to watch that together. Coach, thank you so much for taking time with us today. Coach Drew Stutz from Freed Hardeman, national champions. And we thank you so much for your time. And I'm glad that uh, you're enjoying it and, and doing well there. We look forward to getting to visit with you again soon. Absolutely. I appreciate you having me, Joey.